In this example, we're going to draw the body plot of this function. This function has a zero at the origin and three real poles. The cutoff frequencies of these real poles are 0 0.1, 1, and 80 radians per second. Let's use the same approach as in the previous exercise and look at lower frequencies and then make our way towards the higher frequencies. Where would the body plot start at 10 to the power of negative 2? Well, let's look at the cutoff frequencies. Our cutoff frequencies are all to the right of 10 to the power of negative 2, except that we have a real 0. The real 0 adds a slope of plus 20 dB per decade for all frequencies. The slope is positive. So if you are at 10 to the power of 0, if we are at 1 radians per second, the magnitude is 20 log of 1, that is 0. So it should be at 0 dB. If you now increase the frequency by a factor of 10, we would be at 20 decibels per decade. And if you increase the frequency by another factor of 10, we go to 40 dB. What happens if we decrease the frequency? Well, if we decrease the frequency, now the body plot decreases. At 1 radians per second, we are at 0. At 0 0.1, we should be at negative 20. And at 10 to the power of negative 2, we should be at negative 40. So the, the body, so the body plot starts around negative 40 dB. Well, it would start at negative 40 dB if we didn't have that gain 10. That gain 10 also acts on the body plot at low frequencies. And in fact, the gain 10, 10 adds plus 20 log of 20, that is plus 20 dB everywhere on the body plot. So because of the zero at the origin, we should be at negative 40 dB per decade, but we also have this positive 20 dB due to this gain 10. So now this shifts up and you have negative 40 plus 20, we are at negative 20 dB. This is actually where the body plot starts. So you are starting at negative 20 dB. The only thing acting now between 10 to the power of negative 2 and negative 1 is the 0 at the origin. This adds this slope of plus 20 decibels per decade. So at 0 0.1, we should be 20 times higher than 20. So we go to 0. So around here, we should be at 0. This slope is plus 20 dB per decade. Now, when the frequency is 0 0.1 radians per second, we have this pull. This pull at s over 0 0.1 plus 1, 1 over, adds a slope of negative 20 dB per decade, so long as the frequency is greater than its cutoff frequency 0 0.1. So now the slope that was plus 20 decibels per decade will be affected by this additional negative 20 decibels per decade and becomes 0. So it will be at 0 up to the next cutoff frequency. Next cutoff frequency is here, is at 1 radians per second. This is the cutoff frequency of another pole. This pole will add the pole at 1 over s plus 1, adds another negative 20 dB per decade when the frequency is greater than 1. Notice that this adds a 20, negative 20 decibels per decade to the existing slope. So the slope here is 0 dB per decade. We add negative 20 dB per decade that will go down to negative 20 decimals per decade now. And now at 1 radians per second, the body plot should go back to negative 20. We are at 0, increase the frequency by 10, goes down by 20. So this is now negative 20 dB per decade. So at 10, we are at negative 20 db and the next cutoff frequency will be 80 which is around here so up to 80 we keep the same slope it should be around here we should be able to keep the same slope up to negative up to 80 radians per second now what is the actual magnitude at 80 radians per second well the slope here is negative 20 db per decade we are about to cross another cutoff frequency. The magnitude of 10 to the power of 1 is negative 20 dB. And the slope that we have is negative 20 log of the frequency jump down. Frequency is 80 over 10. We are not jumping by one decade exactly. 
you're jumping by only a factor of eight. This adds negative 20 decibels per decade. This adds now negative 20 log of 80 over 10 to the negative, 80 deci negative 20 decibels that we had at 10 radians per second. The result of this calculation is negative 38 dB. So around here, we should be at negative 38 dB, exactly at 80 radians per second. Now past 80, we encounter another pole. The real pole here at 80 adds negative 20 decibels per decade for now frequencies higher than 80 radians per second. The slope now becomes negative 40 decibels. You see, the slope is taking an additional negative 20 decibels per decade when you cross a pole the slope doesn't become negative 20 decibels per decade we add 20 decibels per decade to the existing slope the existing slope is negative 20 negative 20 minus negative 20 because of this other uh, cutoff frequency is now negative 40. so when we reach around 800 radians per second we should go down by a negative we should go down by negative 40 db so at 800 we should be around negative 78 decibels should be around here. Now this slope becomes negative 40 dB per decade. It was negative 20, minus 20, negative 40. And when you go by one, one factor of 10 from the current frequency, we go down by negative 40. So this point right here should be negative 38, negative 40 equals to negative 78 dB at a frequency of 800 radians per second. Okay, what is the actual magnitude at 10 to the power of two radians per second right here? Try to do that on your own. Use the same approach that we have done here and try to figure out the magnitude at 100 radians per second. I'll give you the solution. If at 80, we are at negative 38 decibels, now the slope is negative 40 dB. So as soon as we increase the frequency, the slope goes down by negative 40 dB. If we are going by 10, then we would have negative 38 minus 40 dB. But here we have only a jump of 10 or 100 over 80. So negative 40 log of the destination frequency 100 divided by the current frequency 80. So this should give negative 41 decibels. So around here at 100 radians per second, the magnitude is negative 41 decibels. Very well, what about the phase? Let's look at the phase. At low frequencies, we have this zero at the origin and it adds 20 decibels per decade to the the magnitude and to the phase it adds 90 degrees so we start at 90 degrees and this will go from 90 degrees up to the next cut of frequency next cut of frequency is 0 0.1 that is a pole that adds negative 20 db per decade right here but also adds negative 90 degrees to the phase. So now the phase goes at one radians, 0 0.1 radians per second, it goes to zero. And we will stay at zero up to the next cutoff frequency, which is one radians per second, another pole adds another negative 90 degrees. And this will stay at the same value up to the next cutoff frequency, which is 80. And this is another pole. So the frequency now goes down by, the phase goes down by another 90 degrees and becomes 180 degrees. If you now attempt to interpolate this, you should find something like that. Passing here by 45 degrees, by negative 45 degrees here, and negative 135 degrees there. And this is now the magnitude and the phase of our function.